Hello guys, welcome to Cruise Control. Chevrolet axed the Impala in 2020, but rendering artist Rain Prisk has now taken up the challenge of reviving the model. The result makes us long for the return of personal luxury coupes. The front Prisk's rendering immediately evokes the current Chevy Camaro with a pinch of SSQs in the lower fascia. It sits low for a sporty look and rides on black wheels. The flanks are simple, except for a crisp, chrome stripe that runs down the shoulder line. Looking higher, the roof is low, and the openings for the windows are similarly tiny. There's no B-pillar on the front door, which opens things the design. Unfortunately, Chris doesn't have a rendering from any other angles to see how the back of the coupe looks. His image offers a glimpse of the cabin, and it looks very luxurious in there. Under the hood, we would hope there was a big block V8. However, modern regulations make a power plant like that difficult to sell. As an alternative, powerful electric motors and high-capacity batteries would create quiet, long-distance cruiser. Chevrolet first used the Impala name on a five-passenger Corvette concept in 1956, and the moniker arrived on a production car in 1958 as the range-topping trim level of the Bel Air. It was available as a coupe or convertible. For 59, the Impala became its own vehicle in the Chevy lineup and gained sedan and wagon variants, in addition to the coupe and convertible. The Impala went through several generations in the Chevy lineup until 1985. The Bowtie revived the Impala name for the 1994 model year. The new SS was a performance focused sedan with a stealthy look and a 5.7 liter LT1 V8 under the hood. It only lasted until 1996, though. Chevy brought back the Impala once again in 2000, and it stuck around for a few more generations until the phase out in 2020. Whether you agree or disagree with my views, I love to read your comments. Thanks for watching, and stay safe everyone.